Hey you guys, okay so today I'm finally sharing all of the new things that have happened around here lately. I feel like I've been talking about this forever because when you plan something like this, especially like when you work with someone that kind of like books far out, I feel like it's just been like on my mind. I've been saying, oh this is gonna happen soon, this is gonna happen soon. Whenever you do something to your house, like people are coming in and out, you know, it kind of just, it's like a blur for a couple weeks. But um, But this last week we had one more part of it that was kind of like a special order thing that finally came in and I thought I'm not gonna do the video until it's all done so I'm gonna show you guys all of the changes that we've made around here I love like I said love doing decor videos and I love that you guys like that I'm incorporating that a bit more here which I feel like I always kind of have I've always post stuff on Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram because as this was happening I shared a lot in my stories a lot of you guys have probably seen some of this already there's a lot that I haven't shown at all that I'm gonna show in this video but follow me on Instagram make up by Tiffany D I never really plug stuff that I do. I never say follow me, subscribe to me because I just, I don't want to say I don't care, but it does, you know, I just, if you want to be here, you want to be here, whatever, do what you want to do, but some of you may not know if you love decor that I do post a lot over there, so check that out. And I've been getting better with my stories, y'all. So we're going to go through, I'm going to show you everything. Um, before we get started, you may be looking at my lashes. I got a little secret and I'm going to show that or share that in my next video. Don't miss that. So cryptic, Tiffany. We'll, we'll move on. I'll show you later. But today, before we get started, before I kind of tell you guys about everything, um, I'm wearing this really cute tie top in these shorts that I've been loving so much lately. They're short, but they're not like crazy scary short. And they're just very comfortable. I always say when you buy shorts, size up. Just always size up. It just makes it better. But anyways, I've really been enjoying this top, and I just wore like one of these little bandeau. You know, I like to put these on sometimes. I just think it makes it a little easier. Because um, you can definitely button it up right here and just kind of do that look. But I thought that was kind of fun. I thought the white and black was kind of a fun little contrast. So I'll link to other stuff that I'm wearing, too. I'll link to my lip color and all that, too. But, um... But yeah, you guys, I just want to get into this. I want to talk about it. So I'll give you guys a little overview of what we did, and then I'm going to take you through and show you around and kind of like, um, but basically our house is like 20 years old. Someone said the other day, like, do you just constantly redo everything? And I'm like, no, it's just we're constantly doing things that haven't been redone yet. You know what I mean? And like improving things that I feel like make sense to do. And um, especially, you know, I think that you should love your house. I think that, you know, if you can and it makes sense, like put some love into it and just do things that make, make you feel good. And um, I feel like we've kind of redone all the bathrooms. We've redone our kitchen. But Olivia's little bathroom was just kind of hanging out. It had like that white, like just the towel that they put in like build, you know, builders put in homes. The white grout had never been sealed, so it was like not white anymore. <laughs> um, things were just a little rough in there. The countertops were just that plasticky countertop. You know, one of the faucets was broken. It's like a double sink in there. We just never really wanted to replace that because I was like, well, one day we'll fix this. And we just never did. I painted in there to make do. But so then I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that. I want to get her bathroom done. Let's do it. I had all these great ideas. And how this ties into a redo that we did in the kitchen, um, it makes sense because we were gonna have to buy countertops either way, right? For Olivia's bathroom, we were gonna have to purchase countertops. So my, my mind started working as it does, and I looked at our island in the kitchen. Okay, and I thought, you know what? Had we have started that kitchen re remodel like years ago, well, how many years has that been? Like two years, a year? I don't even know. I would have maybe, and I think he would have done so too, flattened the island more you get a little more room you can still pull up bar stools but it never really bothered me it was like a double you know like it had the bar height in the in the beginning of our kitchen remodel we didn't change the counters i thought everything's gonna be white these like gold granite countertops are gonna be fine i don't know it looked awful so then we ended up redoing the countertops afterwards so during the whole like building part of the kitchen that had already been done, you know, and you couldn't really change the footprint of anything because of the countertops because we originally kept those. Do you know what I'm saying? So then when we redid the countertops, I love the layout of our kitchen. Everything's perfect and I wouldn't change it except I may have built that island a little different. So obviously our island is bigger than like her vanity space. So what we did is we had them take the countertops that we'd already paid for that have been in our island for a long time, um, just the one on the... Um, island and they took it off site took it back to the place because the same company was doing doing that I don't think if you went with a different company later they would like you know go back and like re-template and like rework your countertops uh, but they did that for us so her countertops when you see them it's our old um, island countertops and so what they did while they were here doing her bathroom they rebuilt our island and um, we still have space for the bar stools just as we did before 
I have been loving it. There, I didn't really realize how just that break made such a big difference in just being able to spread out and cook. It visually looks so much more appealing. I never thought it bothered me before until I started. I know this always messes with you. You go to like model homes or you like see it and you're like, whoa, that is nice. Then you stand at one and you're like, that is a difference. So um, I'm gonna tell you guys about that. So that's how that came about and I'll show you all that in a minute. And then while they were here doing that, because I thought if they're here, let's just do it. We did the paneling in our foyer or the molding in our foyer. We had really pretty crown crown molding in our foyer and along the hallway that kind of, there's a hallway that kind of connects to the foyer that has the same kind of molding or whatever. But I wanted to do like pretty grids on the walls because it's just a very like white pretty space. And I think sometimes when you just have a big white foyer and our foyer is so pretty and open, it's one of the prettiest um, things about our house I feel when you come in it's just so special and um, I feel like even when we had looked at things not even that long ago that houses that were literally three four times the price as ours they have the tiniest little foyers like that's the new I don't know what that is and that's okay it's beautiful but I really have just I love that you know so I thought let's accentuate it like I've always wanted to do that and I'll talk about that in a second and um, then as they were here I ran an idea by him about our kitchen cabinets, which I'll show you that too. Oh my gosh, and they did our countertops in there. I don't know if I'm gonna show you that in there right now, just because um, I feel like I have a lot more. Like we're gonna go through, I'm gonna talk about everything as I show you, but in there, um, we do have new countertops and they're so pretty you guys and I think what I'll do is I'll actually film a video in there soon and I'll be like you know this is where I get ready you know what I mean uh, so let's go around and look at everything and I'll kind of give you guys a little more info I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys so I wasn't like telling that long story about how we use the countertops from there and there you know and you couldn't see my face and it was just like staring at a countertop talking which I don't know if this is much more exciting so yeah let me show you let me show you what they did all right, you guys, so here it is. I love how this turned out. I love how we kind of worked in that sort of French gray color. I knew I didn't want it to be totally whited out, but I wanted it to be very light and bright, and I'll talk about the colors more in a second, but here's more of the details. These are little rosettes. I think one of you guys said they were called English Tudor roses, one of you guys when I showed them on Instagram, but that's where the beadboard used to be. Uh, the tile is like a ceramic marble look tile. I knew I didn't want the upkeep of you know, a real marble floor and in this bathroom, an A bathroom especially. Um, they added this pretty little tower and there's a light in the top. I'm gonna flip it on and off. Um, it has its own little separate thing. It's kind of like our cabinets in the kitchen. So I'm gonna put something cute up there. I still haven't put anything or really cleaned. <laughs> I didn't clean that little glass. But I'm gonna put like my towels and some cutesy things in there. I just kind of, you know, it's so practical too, with a little tower like that to keep your, you know, your things that you need a lot. Can you believe these were our kitchen uh, counters, right? Isn't that funny on the island? But anyways, I love these little candles, you guys. I showed them in a video. Um, they smell so good. I haven't burned that one yet. That one's milk rose. I also have the lavender honey one. Um, they're little like macaron candles. And how cute is that? I found that at Target, little soap dispensers. Um, I thought those were super cute. They look like little plant sprayers, but I think they said they were called like oil can something. And then in the tub, here's what this looks like. We decided to do like a fixed glass shower, like invisible glass thing, just because you could be in there and, you know, take a shower and it wouldn't be spraying. Um, you can easily reach in. Here's a close-up of the tile. It's like a glass crackled. They're so beautiful in person. And then we did like a elongated subway on the side. So, so pretty, you guys. Um, you could also, oh, and it goes up to the ceiling. So pretty. I was going to say, um, oh, and here's my little shower nook. I need to put Olivia's stuff in here. I still have her stuff in my tub. But I love how they did that nook with a little soap bar at the bottom, too. And, oh, my gosh, you guys, these bath mats are so good. They're from Target. I will link to them below. They are so, so cute. I have them in our bathroom, too. Um, you could always do a shower curtain as well if you wanted to. Um, but this is uh, Edgecombe Gray by Sherwin-Williams, which is also in our guest bedroom. I, it's one of my favorite colors. It's a very, like, Parisian gray. Very, very pretty. And you can see kind of a close-up as well of the wall. And... Here is the whole thing. I love the molding at the top. They did such a good job. I just, I love how they built out the um, the cabinets and like kind of refaced them. I love the little detail on the bottom, kind of like what they did in our kitchen. And then, yeah, you guys, that's it. Oh, let me show you one more thing. This is so cool. Um, the little light above the shower, um, it has its 
own switch on the wall over here to the right. So you see I just have the light part turned on, but it's also a fan. So it kind of like, you know, it's a nice little fan. It goes up around the light. Look at my bird nest. Do you guys remember the other birds I showed you guys on Instagram? So cute. So here's the foyer updates, you guys. So the foyer had always been white, but of course it got a new coat of white. But look at all the molding. It's so pretty. Um, and it kind of continued through to where you go in to like the kitchen and the family room. You can see around the stairs. And um, yeah, it's just so cool. I think it gave it so much character. I think it just really added a lot to the foyer. And um, those little pads on the stairs are just kind of a temporary thing we got because we have a huge dog and a child and us. <laughs> We're probably more dangerous than anybody, but I just got on Amazon. They're super cheapo. Like, I don't know. I thought about getting a stair runner. Hey, here's Waylon. Look how cute he is. He's so sweet. Oh, these, um, let me show you. So this is from up top, but the blinds or the little, like, shutters that are on our big window there, those are fairly new. Um, that window is fairly new as well. And it does have that treatment where, like, the sun doesn't blare through so much as all, like, the kind of newer windows do. But our house faces west, so the sun literally, like, blares in, like, all that afternoon sun. And I like, I like it just for privacy. I don't know. I just, I like to keep it barely cracked. There's a close-up of the chandelier, which I will link as well. But these match our plantation shutters in the rest of the house. So I'm just really happy with how it turned out. Some more details. You can see my little peel and stick wallpaper in the powder room, which I love, but peel and stick wallpaper is a joke. And just use the real stuff because it's so stupid to use. <laughs> but um, yeah, some more details. And I love this view looking back through the hallway to the door. Um, and there's a little peek of what is happening in the kitchen. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, but let me show you how I decorated, or what I put in this little spot. I found this little bench at Kirkland's. It was such a cute little find. I got so sick, you guys, of just having a table there. I've had a round table there. I've had, I have little tables all over the house with lamps and stuff. And I'm like, I don't want, and I'm sure at some point I might do that again. Um, but I really, really love that little bench. And I have some new pillows coming. Look at these little moss balls. I'm kind of into them. I'm into, like, little natural moss balls. Such an easy way to add some, like, live ish greenery <laughs> so here is the updates in the kitchen the island so obviously when we flattened it we had to do um, lower stools so I found these just randomly at the front gate outlet Brad actually found them and he brought them home um, we used to have three but these are very wide so we just stuck two here so they work but look at this countertop you guys it actually looks so natural look at these these came from my yard um but yeah they made it a little more square and I love that there's not such a huge nook for the stools it's the same exact as our other one was so they push in the same exact amount because they use the same little wall there um, but it's nice because you can remove them like when I have people over I like to remove those stools if people are grabbing from food I always did that with my old ones too it's just more space um, so yeah oh and look at this y'all so this was kind of my idea this whole motif in the kitchen with the X's never really continued to the left so we have these open arches over here and I always thought I wish there was something over here that tied it together and um, adding these mirrored doors made sense and not only are they pretty I added them just above the desk um, but they're functional because they hide all my desky junk if you guys have a house that was built in the 90s you got one of these you got one of these command centers where everybody wanted they call, they call command centers everybody wanted to see all your junk they wanted to see your bills they wanted to see your crap they want to see everything so let me just give you an idea and like it's functional right I like it but I just don't want people to see it so the doors used to just be small right they used to be up there and then the bottom was open dumb right so they added this little like shim thing I don't know a piece of wood and then they painted it, it looks seamless they did such a good job with this there's still tape because they just had set the mirrors here um but oh my gosh aren't they pretty so good it added so much sparkle to the kitchen a lot a little more character and this is such a useful area I didn't want to get rid of the desk because I use it it's like central lo central you know I'm always sitting there and I haven't put my computer or anything back on it I don't really have the space like super decorated out or a lot of crap on the counters because I actually use it uh, but yeah, I just haven't really put any of my stuff back, even in the cabinets, as you saw. I filmed this like right when they were done. If you're curious as to what this little guy is, I've been diffusing oils lately. It's an actual white ceramic one. I'll link to it rather than one of those like plasticky, cheesy looking ones. It's good. And then my beloved toaster. Her bathroom, right? Is that not nuts? Okay, so it's, it, it just totally took my breath away. Like, I, I knew it was going to be pretty. I knew that he was going to do an amazing job. Like, his guys always do, and I will link below 
to Abraham and his company. Like they just do such an amazing job. They did our kitchen too. If you're in the Atlanta area, he does book out very far, but they do amazing work. And I think that you would really love working with him. He is just the nicest guy and I just can't say enough good things about him. Um, but y'all, I literally just, uh, I don't know, I love our house and I love all these things and when you redo a room or something, I don't think it makes you like, I don't know, yeah, I mean, it makes you love your house anymore, but it does, it just feels so special to know that you put your special touch on it um, if you're like us and sometimes can't justify buying like a new build or, you know, just one of those cookie cutter things that's like you have three floor plans to choose from and you can do this, you know, and you end up spending so much money. I mean, it's astronomical. Like recently, I will tell you guys a story. I don't know if I'm going to tell it right now. I'll tell it at some point. Um, it's just astronomical, but I feel like we've already gone on long enough here. But it's so nice, and I feel like it's so much more cost effective if you can find a home. And I don't even want to say that because I think it's great to build too. I'm not saying that. But I just think a home in a good area that has a great school district. If you get it for an amazing price and you can do some things to it, I think that's kind of fun too. So um, I'm not saying like don't buy, don't go out and like buy a dump and like get in over your head. I feel like we've done so, we've had to do so much here. I think we didn't even realize how much, um, even when we first moved in, just things that were wrong that we just had to do. Like you know, not so much just fun things, but like some big things. Maybe at some point, and I know you guys ask about like rentals and you ask about like things like that, and I'm not an expert on anything like that, but I feel like we have accidentally fallen into, we fell into this situation with our last house that got us into buying rental property. We found this house that, you know, now we could sell for so much money. We bought this house so low, like even at the time, like it was just very low. Um, I feel like we've made some good decisions and it's kind of set us up for like some cool stuff. So. I know it's like sometimes I feel like that kind of stuff is like TMI and I feel like I just always feel a little cringy when I talk about things like that because it is a cool thing and I think a lot of people don't I didn't I we didn't understand it we didn't think hmm, this is what we're gonna do it just kind of happened but um, I don't know at some point I might kind of tell that story of like different houses and stuff and what we're planning on doing next because we do have something kind of coming um, we're not moving I know people are confused we're not moving but we are doing some we're, not, we're keeping this house but we're doing something else too. I will, we'll talk about that at some point. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Um, but anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll put his info below. I'll put any sources also, like little decor and things that I link to as well, or that I talked about as well. I'll link to those below uh, for you guys. And um, yeah, I just, I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. I hope that you got your little decor fix from me today. I have, I know I mentioned some things from Target throughout the video. There was a few little things. I have some other things and I might go at some point soon to pick up something else. I do have a lot of things to share with you guys from Target coming up soon. So we'll talk about that soon. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.